sitting up nice and tall. So whatever that seat is for you, just come into that position there. And everyone just close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, just focus on your inhalations and your exhalations. Releasing your shoulders from your ears and lift your ears from your shoulders. Belly button in towards your spine. And just take a few deep inhalations and exhalations. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And then join your palms to touch in front of your chest. As you press your palms in towards each other, moving the sides and the tops of the shoulders back away from your fingers, we're going to open up this practice with three ohms. Everyone take a big inhale. Exhale, sigh, and let the breath go. Full inhale. No. up towards your chin, slowly bow your head towards your heart. Open up your eyes, let your hands come down to your thighs, let your chin float up. And before we begin, can I ask everyone just mute your um, computers please? Can you mute everything so as you move around we're going to get all the feedback if you don't mind? Greatly appreciate that. Good. And now from here, let us just come onto our back. So everyone will come onto your back. I'm going to just swing this mat around as such. And as we come onto our backs, feet flat onto the floor, knees up towards the ceiling. Let your knees touch and let your arms go over your head. As your arms are over your head, just relax your arms. Just let everything go. And just focus on surrendering now, letting everything go. Inhale and exhale, releasing the outer body, softening the torso, softening your arms, softening your face and your jaw. And now let your knees fall over to the right side of the room as you look towards your left. Letting your arms go, let your legs go, so you don't want to stack your legs on top of each other. Now take your right ankle across your left knee. So as the right ankle is across the left knee, just release the back again. Inhale, exhale, let your inner thighs of the left leg release. And just focus on breathing into the back body, feel the belly. Moving deeper in towards the spine on the exhale and feel the back body expand on the inhale. Look up towards the ceiling, let the knees go up towards the ceiling, and then go ahead and take your hands around your left thigh, shin bone, flex your feet, draw your thigh bones into your chest. Keep the right hip crease moving away from your right armpit. Good. Flexing your feet, both feet, as you feel the inner thigh of your right leg lengthening out towards your left, your right knee. Good. Now, bring your left foot onto the floor, right leg come into a half happy baby pose. So as this foot here, your left foot is onto the floor, you're holding on to your right leg as such, and then let the knee fall, your left knee fall over towards the left side. And just pull the thigh bone down into your chest just a little bit more. Take a couple of breaths here. Lengthening from the inner left thigh out towards the knee. 
Roll the tops and the sides of your shoulders down into the floor. Two more breaths here. Good, then slowly release your right foot to the floor. Open up your feet wide, let your knees touch, let your arms go over your head, and then let your thighs fall over towards the left as you look towards the right. Breathe into the back body, and then maybe turn your torso on your exhale a little bit more towards your right. And just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Take your left ankle across your right knee. Let your legs get heavy. Softening your jaw, softening your breath. And just a few more breaths here. Letting your knees come up to the ceiling again. Take your hands around your right thigh. Flex your left foot. Lengthen from the inner groin of your left leg out towards the knee. So your knee is moving towards the top of your mat. Just roll the sides and the tops of your shoulders down into the floor. And take a couple of breaths here. Don't let your left hip overpower your right hip. So keep the outer hips moving in. Just a few more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Good. Take your left leg into half happy baby pose. Bring your right foot onto the floor. Let your right knee fall over to the right side, right hand onto the inside of your right leg. And just lengthen from the inner thigh out towards the knee. And then draw your left thigh bone down just a little bit more. Breathe. Relaxing, releasing your hips. So you don't want to hold any tension there. Just soften your hips and let the body go. A few more breaths. Good. Then we come into happy baby pose with both feet. Keeping the arms on the inside of the leg. So you want to keep your bottom from lifting up to the ceiling. Lengthen your bottom to the top of the mat as you draw the sides and the tops of your shoulders down into the floor. Flex your feet strongly. Inhale, exhale, a couple more breaths here. Good, bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shin bones. Give yourself a big hug. Keep pulling the thigh bones down, lengthen your bottom to the top of the mat. Good, and from here, just rock back and forward, back and forward, till we rock all the way up, and then let's come onto our hands and our knees. Wrist underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, turn the fingers out slightly, rotate the inner arms forward, press the tops of your feet into the floor, exhale, cat pose, take the back up towards the sky. Inhale, cow pose, tuck your toes, stretch your breastbone forward, belly button into the spine. Exhale, cat pose, cow pose. Three more times like that on your own, cat cow. Just working your feet, always flipping your feet, whether it's into the cow pose or into the cat pose. Opening up the body, keeping the belly button in towards your spine. Good, now with your next one, if you finish, come into the tabletop position. So I'm gonna walk back just a little bit, walking the knees back, hips over my he uh, knees, reach the arms out towards the top of the mat. Draw your belly button into your spine, hug the elbows in, keep your hips as much as you can over your knees, belly button in your spine, walk your hands out and look beyond your fingertips. Don't stick the bottom out too much. Find a lift of the front rim of your pelvis. As you stretch your arms out, look forward. Rotate the elbows towards the floor. Push the hips back. Stretch your arms forward. Keep your chin stretching forward. Take a couple of breaths here. Notice, you want to lift the front of the pelvis away from the floor. 
Two more breaths. Good. Walking your hands back in. Nice. And now from here, come to a cross-legged seated position facing forward. As we here, pull the flesh of the buttocks back behind you. Crossing your shins. Bring your hands, your arms to your wrists. Moving your breastbone towards me. Tops and the sides of your shoulders behind you. Everyone, inhale your right arm up. Take your right fingers onto the floor behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Take your left hand up and take your left arm on the outside of your right thigh. And now rotate towards your right. But keep your left hip moving to the back left corner of the mat. And now focus on the back left rib, your back rib. Feel that left rib expand on your inhale. Then exhale, maybe you can turn a little bit more to your right, but keep your left hip crease moving back. Find the cobra pose in your chest. Good, look forward. On your inhale, arms up, come forward. Change the crossing of your legs without using your arms. Good, take your left hand behind you and your right arm on the outside of your left thigh. Feel your right hip crease moving back. Find the chest open and revolve towards your right, your left. Belly button into your spine. Notice your back right rib. Feel the expansion on the inhale there. And the exhale, you turn a little bit more. Keep your right hip crease moving back. Good, look forward. On your inhale, slowly come forward. And then pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind you a little bit. Bring your fingertips onto the floor, hug the hips in, and then walk your arms forward. Think more of tilting your pelvis towards me and stretch your chest forward. Reach your chest out as we fold forward, maybe the elbows to the floor. Now hug the hips in and stretch your spine nice and long. So notice I'm not dropping down, I'm looking forward out beyond my fingertips, moving my shoulders back behind me. Squeezing the outer hips in. Three more breaths. As you hug the hips in, you may feel yourself able to go just a little bit further forward. Good. Walk yourself up nice and easy. And what we're going to do, bring the knees up. Bring the feet flat onto the floor. Coming up, turning forward. Hands and knees. Turn the fingers out slightly. Rotate the elbows towards your hips. Reach the right leg back. Now push the inside of the ankle back behind you. And then reach to the left. Lift the hips up high. Come high into the balls of your feet. Lift your bottoms up and press back into downward facing dog. From here, pedal out your knees. Nice and easy. Good, inhale, plank pose. Lift from the floor. Knees to the floor, go forward all the way into your belly. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, come up to that little cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push the hip points back. Inhale, lifting up into the plank pose. This time without the knees, going forward. Stretch your heart all the way forward. Point the toes to the back of the room. This time, come up to the cobra pose, a little bit higher. Good, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up again, coming into the plank pose. This time, chaturanga, go forward halfway as you push your heels behind you. Come up into the upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, bring your big toes to touch. Reach your right leg up to the sky behind you. Step the right foot forward up between your hands. Rotate the back heel to the floor. If you have a block, grab your block. Bring the block on the outside of your right foot. Hand onto the block. Left hand to your left hip. Now think of lengthening from the inner groin of your right leg towards the knee so you're not up into this position here. You're lengthening forward as you melt deeper into that front thigh. Good, reach your left arm back, reach the arm towards me, and then keep the arm going until it goes over your head. 
Wrap that right buttocks underneath you, belly button into the spine. Press your right arm into your leg and your leg into your arm and turn your bottom rib up to the ceiling and move your shoulders away from your ears. Two breaths. Good, look to the floor, hands to the floor. Now turn your right toes towards the top, this direction here, towards, the, towards me. Lift your heart up, exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift your heart up again. Bend into your left knee, turn your left toes to the back of your mat, take a block on the outside of your left leg, hand onto the block, right hand to your hip. Rotate that bottom rib up towards the ceiling, shoulders from your ears. Now focus on the inner arch of your back foot. Lift it up, don't collapse, so lift up the pinky toe. Lift up the inner arch and strengthen through the inner thigh. Good, reach your right arm back to the back of the mat. Reach the arm towards me, like you're cutting the air as we go forward. Moving your shoulders to the back of the room, stretching your spine long, and turn from the floor by pressing the arm into the leg and the leg into the arm. Two more breaths. Good, look to the floor. Hands to the floor, turn back towards me. Now pay attention to your toes. Turn your toes in, not out. Lift up the heart towards me. And now pull your bum up. Lift the inner thighs up. Now keep the inner thighs moving away from each other as we fold forward. Reaching the breastbone down as you lift your hips up. So it's not about getting your head all the way to the floor. It's about pulling your hip creases, inner thighs up to tilt the pelvis forward as we fold down. Lift your shoulders from the floor and pull your bottom up higher. Three more breaths. Keep your toes long and keep the weight moving into the balls of your feet, but as you press the heels down and lift your bottom up higher. Now, reach your heart forward again. Bend into your right knee, turn towards the top of the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Lift the heart up, lift the hips up, press your thighs back. Bring the big toes to touch, reach the right leg up to the sky behind you. Step the right foot, on the outside of your right hand. Good, bring the back knee to the floor. Now turn your left fingers to the left. Move your left shoulder to the left. Bring your right hand to the inner thigh and press the thigh away and rotate your left rib up towards the sky. Breathe. You're on the outer edge of your right foot, pushing the thigh away, hugging the outer right buttocks back. Now if you like, Bring your left forearm to the floor and turn away a bit more. And if you like, bend the back heel towards your buttocks. If you need to, you can grab onto the strap or a belt or reach back with your right hand. Open up the chest, find the cobra pose, turn away from the floor, let your hips get heavy. Good. Releasing the back foot down. Turn your right toes straight forward and see if you can come onto the forearms with your right toes forward, leg in. If not, you can bring your forearms to a block, to the blocks. And just reach your heart forward, pull your shoulders back. Take a couple of breaths here. And if you still want to go further, reach your arms out and the stretch down. Two more breaths. Good, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up. Turn towards your left, turning back towards my direction actually. Lift up the heart halfway, bend into your left knee. Rotate towards the top of your mat, the opposite direction. Good, back knee to the floor. 
Turn your right fingers to the right side so the shoulder's moving back. Bring your left hand to the left inner thigh, press the thigh away. And then open up your chest to the sky. Breathe. And if you like, you can probably bring your forearm down to the floor, right forearm, left toes up, reach back, and open up the heart. Keep lengthening the buttocks away from your lower back. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and sit a little bit deeper. And then release that. Back leg to the floor. Turn your left toes straight forward. You can either take the blocks underneath your forearms or bring your forearms to the floor. Lizard's pose. Or if you like, you can walk your fingers further out and sit deeper. Good, gently walk yourself back in. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee off the floor. Straighten the front leg, turn back towards the side of your mat. Turn the toes in, heels out, lift up the heart, lift up the inner thighs, exhale, fold forward. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, lift your bump up. As you reach your hind up, you reach your arms over your head and fold over. Change the interlacings of your fingers. Good, lower the hands down to the mat. Stretch your heart forward. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, the feet together. And then bring the big toes to touch. Lower your knees to the floor. And now stay onto the balls of your feet onto your toes. As you do, take a finger, spread your toes onto the floor, underneath you. So we're just going to go for a little toe opener here. Our feet are always into shoes a lot, so a little toe opener just to spread things. If this is too much for your toes, for your feet right now, you can always grab onto your blocks, bring your blocks, your hands to the blocks to give you a little relief or lift up if you need to. So whatever you can. If you just hold this right here, take a couple more breaths. Lengthening the spine so we're not dropping in. Find that lengthening in the spine, backs of your hands to your thighs. A few more breaths here. Keep the outer ankles moving in and find the length in the spine. Good. Hands to the floor. Then we want to lift the knees up. Good, and now see if you can sit deeper by opening up the knees a bit, let the heels go towards the floor, and keep the arms on the inside of the legs, and walk your fingers out. Now squeeze the torso with your inner thighs, stretch your bottom back, reach your heart forward. Take a couple more breaths here. Good, now as the big toes are touching, take your forearms underneath your upper arms, actually your triceps, underneath your shin bones. Hug the elbows in, lift up as we come into Bakasana Crow Pose. So I'll turn this way so you can see that. I'll give you different modifications and variations. So as we're here, I'm sitting low, I'm taking the upper arms underneath as far as I can. Hug the elbows back. Lift up. Anchor myself in. Shift the weight forward into my fingers as I come up. Whoops. That can happen too. So, as we hear, if that's difficult, you can take your two blocks. Bring the blocks together side by side. Come your toes on the blocks, big toes are touching, open up the knees, let the triceps go underneath your shin bones, come forward and then take one foot at the time up and then maybe you can take both feet up as you practice the crow pose. So give that a shot just a couple more times.
shifting. Now clip the weight into the balls of your fingers and your fingertips. Don't have all the weight into your heels. And now look out in front of you. As you look in front of you, lengthen the spine so you don't want to round into the back. Look forward and hug the elbows in. Just a couple more tries there. Good. And now just come on down. I see you. Nice tries. But now what we do, move the blocks off to the sides. Come have a seat, crossing your shins again, sitting up nice and tall. Now everyone, bring your, have your left shin bone in towards your hips, your um, groin area. Bring your right foot onto the floor, interlace your fingers, wrap your arms around your shin bones. I mean, sorry, wrap your arms around the bottom of your foot. I'm going to turn this direction so you can get a visual from the side. Now from here, anchoring down into my left leg, bring the shin bone parallel to the floor. So try not to do this. Move your chest in, anchoring now, and then maybe you can stretch the leg up. Moving your shoulders away from your ears. Keep reaching up, and then maybe you can kiss your knee as you keep going up. Good, stretching it up. Nice. And now bring that down. Now from here, we're going to try it again. So we're going to keep that left leg exactly where it is. Take your hands one more time around the bottom of that foot. Keep the leg bent. So have the shin bone bent. Now take your left hand on the outside of the right foot. Bring that right knee back underneath the armpit. Take your left hand, right hand, sorry, on the outside of the thigh, and then turn up towards the ceiling. As we straighten the leg out, as we come into what's called sundial pose, Sardia Yanstrasana. So it's okay if the leg is bent, but see if you, wherever you are, push through the heel, taking this arm, wrap it around, pressing your left thigh into the floor as we open up. Now, bring that down. Nice and easy. Bring your left foot forward. Bring your right heel in towards your hip area. Anchoring down into that right leg. Roll the shoulders back. So hold on to your shin bone first. Roll the shoulders back. Keep your chest open. Take, interlace your feet, your hands, stay your feet, underneath your left foot. Have the bone, shin bone, perpendicular, it's parallel to the floor. Roll the sides of the shoulders back. Spread your toes and push the heel up. Pull the thigh bone down into your hip socket. As you pull the thigh bone down, push the heel up. Pull the thigh bone down, kissing your knee or beyond. So the more you pull down, the higher, the more you can lengthen the spine and get taller in the body. Keep anchoring down if you can into your right leg. Good, rebend that leg. Now pull the knee back as far as you can towards your armpit. Take your right hand on the outside of the foot. Take your left arm underneath, like you're about to put the foot behind the leg behind your head. Now from here, anchor down into your right leg, walk your left fingers out. Good, hold on to the outside of that left foot with the right hand, push the leg away, and turn up towards the sky. Take a couple of breaths here. It's okay if the leg is bent, wherever you are, that's where you are. Be there first, about two more breaths. One, good, slowly rebend the leg, bring the leg in. Now, cross your shins one more time, pull the flesh of the buttocks back, tilt your pelvis forward, reach your heart towards me, maybe you got more room to fold over this time. Take a couple of breaths here, firming the outer hips in as you reach the heart forward. Slowing the breath down. Inhale, exhale. Just a few more here. Relax your throat and your jaw. And then slowly rise up nice and easy. Lead with your heart. 
Take your knees up towards the ceiling. Turn. Come lying onto your back, feet flat onto the floor. Let your knees touch. Now press your heels into the floor. Lift the buttocks up. Lengthen the buttocks away from your lower back as you bring your bottom down. And just bring your hands to your belly. Shimming your shoulders away from your ears. Back of your neck is long. And just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Relaxing your throat, relaxing your jaw, relaxing the breath. Good. Now bring your feet to touch. Take your right knee on top of your left knee. No space between your legs. Knee to knee. Bring your knees into your chest. Good. As you bring your right and your knees in, you'll feel that right hip crease moving up to your right armpit. Move that hip crease forward so you can get a greater stretch in the outer hips. Flex the feet. Roll the tops and the sides of the shoulders into the floor. Take a couple of breaths here. Hug the outer hips in. Good. Release that. Switch the legs out. Bring the knees in. Keep your left hip crease moving away from your left armpit, rolling the sides of the shoulders down into the floor. Flex your feet. Hug the outer hips in. Good. Release that. Bring both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shin bones. See if you can hold on to your elbows. Lengthen your bottom towards the top of the mat as you roll your shoulders down into the floor. Shimmy your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe. Keep your lower back moving into the floor. Everyone take a big inhale. Exhale, forehead to touch your knees. Inhale, lower the upper body down. Exhale, forehead to touch your knees. Now stay here. Take a big inhale like this. And exhale, squeeze it out a bit more. And then on your inhale, lower the upper body down. Nice and easy, lower your feet down. If you have the blankets or a cushion, you can bring it behind the backs of your legs. And then you want it so the blankets or the cushion behind your, between your, hand, your buttocks and your knees. So as you extend the legs over, there's nothing really behind your knees, not much. Roll the sides and the tops of your shoulders down into the floor as the back of your neck is nice and long. So bring your chin towards your chest, looking at your belly button. Roll the shoulders down. Now let the back of your head come to the floor. And now slowly let everything go as we move into Shavasana. With each exhalation, let go just a little bit more. Now everyone, take a big inhale. Exhale, Shavasana, let it all go.
Gently begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly bring your knees into your chest nice and easy. Wrap your arms around your shin bones. Give yourself a big hug, a little rocking from side to side, nice and easy. Extend your right arm over your head by your right ear. Roll over to your right side into a fetal position. Take a couple of breaths here. Place your left hand into the floor in front of your chest. Chin towards your chest. Slowly press yourself up. And if you have the blankets or something to sit on, come have a seat. Crossing your shins. Sitting up nice and tall. And once again, bring your hands to your knees. Roll the sides and the tops of the shoulders back behind you. Hug the elbows into the body so you can keep that broadening across your collarbone. And breathe. Breathe into the entire rib case. So now just pull the flesh of the buttocks back maybe just a little bit. So you give a nice pelvic tilt forward to feel a little bit more grounded into your seat. Palms down onto your thighs. And we're just gonna take a little short meditation here. So just close your eyes and focus on the inhalations. And as you inhale, you become expansive. And as you exhale, you grow taller. So you wanna press the crown of your head into the ceiling. And just take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, exhale. With each exhalation, maybe you can grow just a little bit taller. Keeping your shoulders, sides, and the tops moving back to the back of the room, away from your knees. A couple more breaths here. And then feel the thigh bones moving back into the hip sockets as the outer hips are moving in to give you a little bit more support and become a little bit more stable to rise a little bit taller. Breathe. And then slowly join your palms and touch in front of your chest. And we're going to close this practice with one ohm. Everyone take a big inhale. Exhale, sigh and let the breath go. Full inhale. Raise your thumbs to your third eye. May peace be with you now, and may peace be with you always. 
step by step every day of your journey. Namaste.